when the uh, death rate from opioid overdose exceeded the death rate from breast cancer, I said, okay, fine. This is something I can help with by helping assemble information. And uh, we started in. Shania uh, had been working uh, over the past couple of years uh, through her classwork on a project that was kind of predated COVID. And it was another crisis in Vermont and indeed the country, and that's the opioid crisis. And so I know from helping develop this platform that when the literature exceeds a certain amount, and it's not that much, no human can, can really pull it all together. And so these tools were developed to help this aggregation of larger sets of information. Yeah, we kind of looked at each other across the desk and said, look at what's happening. And we did a quick thing and looked at how many articles there were and we knew that it was beyond what any human could do and we just kind of said should we do it it was like yes let's do it it was a bit of a jump in the cold water you know but uh it, it's it's on and it's running and this is what it looks like um so it, they'll if they if they clicked on this link which will be on the refbin homepage, they would see this and then once it's opened up, then they could start to see the things we were looking at. Diagnosis, I'm going to open up epidemiology, there's fatality, and then variables associated. People could kind of drill down on their own. And then if they say, oh, yeah, I want to look at these three articles, they'll be displayed here. And they can choose these guys and look at them if they click on them. Uh, that opens it up, shows our notes, and there's links to PubMed. This works on a smartphone, which is why it's kind of a, a, a one column in the center as opposed to you know two full columns. Uh, but it seems to work pretty good. So that the use of this database then is, is that when we want to, let's say, in the hospital, in the emergency room or the admissions department, here comes somebody and we want to assess their risk or we're, you know, Mark Levine and we need to make certain priorities about how we're going to manage this in the state of Vermont and we want to assess who's the risk. We can kind of listen to the news and say, yeah, it's older people and sicker people. Or we could go to this section here and get the fine detail of everything that's been published and quickly make these assessments. So that's kind of the, the main point of this whole thing is, is that by bundling all these pieces of information together into common places, then people don't need to know what they're looking for. Here's the menu and you just scroll down and find everything that you need. 